Good morning, everyone. It's raining today. Rained most of last night. Uh, it's not raining that hard right now. So I uh, went ahead and decided it'd be a good time to take up the camera. It uh, rained most of the night. And uh, right now it's lightening up a bit. It's supposed to clear up by this afternoon, which would be a good thing because today I'm going up and over Saddleback Mountain and it's uh, three peaks. Uh, you have the Saddleback Mountain Summit, the Horn, and Saddleback Junior. Um, Saddleback Mountain has uh, uh, an extensive distance that's above the tree line for both the Saddleback Summit and the Horn. And so I would not want to go up and over those rocks um, in the rain. Good news is, is if the rain does stop uh, being above the tree line, it should dry off pretty quickly. Um, but that's the plan for today. I've got 23.5 miles to the Spalding lean-to. And uh, the uh, terrain is going to be widely varied, but I'm looking forward to the day. This rain doesn't ever get me down. Uh, I kind of enjoy it actually. Where else do you get to walk in the rain and not have to care how you look and, you know, worry about it messing up your wardrobe or anything like that. I'm enjoying everything about it. Thanks for joining me as well today, everybody. I uh, remain always glad to share my adventure with you. I'm Brix. has mostly stopped. First view of the morning. Right in front of us, with its peak hidden above the clouds, is Saddleback Mountain. That's where we're headed. We'll start the climb in about two miles or so. So coming out of Ma main route four, the trailhead parking, we uh, came upon some trail magic. So I just wanted to say how awesome it was to get trail magic this morning. A really good trail angel, mountain lifer, uh, provided it. He had attempted a through hike back in 2017, I believe he said, and had to get off at Fontana Dam. And uh, from that point, he uh, has kind of committed himself to being a trail angel and helping out hikers. Uh, Mountain Lifer is a Marine veteran and uh, had a great story to tell about overcoming um, some of the things that affect veterans uh, after the war uh, between, uh, you know, veterans' own struggles and, and, you know, dealing with the ongoing loss of a comrade and things of that nature. It's not my place to tell uh, Mountain Lifer's story, but he has a terrific story, and I'm glad that he shared it with me. And I'm grateful for 
the trail magic that he gave. I myself had two hot dogs, some chips, a cookie, and some Gatorade, and it meant all the world. Yesterday I was feeling a little drained, and uh, I think it's a combination of just the strenuous uh, ups and downs of uh, New Hampshire and now Maine uh, that have just continued the last couple weeks and uh, add to that my metabolism that increases, increases, and increases every day, it seems. And so it's hard to, uh, you know, get enough calories, I would say, to satisfy the hiker hunger. And so uh, the trail magic that Mountain Lifer provided was right on time, I would say. And uh, boy, I feel amazing uh, just to have some additional calories and then uh, also to have uh, some fulfilling human contact as well. So cheers to Mountain Lifer and thank you for the amazing trail magic. We are starting our climb up Saddleback Mountain. 2.9 miles till the first peak. First views. We're not even all the way up the
there's our approach up to the horn, which is hidden in clouds. Keep wondering if it's going to clear up and we'll see the horn. climb up Saddleback Mountain Junior. And boy, this one's steep. We're looking back at Saddleback Mountain and the horn behind us from where we just came. Climb of Saddleback Jr. We are on our last climb for the day. 0.9 mile climb left, climbing a little over 1200 feet in that distance. So, steep incline up Lone Mountain. This one is a smaller. 3,000 footer and a totally wooded summit. So there will be little pomp and circumstance at the top. The good news is the shelter is only two miles past that. reached the peak of Lone Mountain. 2.2 miles to our lean to. Whew, and I'm grateful. Well, everybody, uh, it was a successful day and it felt amazing to have a second 20 plus mile day in a row in Maine uh, after going so long without doing a 20. Um, it's good to know that uh, I could still do a 20 uh, after all of these ups and downs, but all in all, it ended up being a 23.5 mile day. I'm at the Spalding uh, Mountain Lean To. So we're set up very nicely for a Nero tomorrow in Stratton. It'll be a 13.5 mile day. Uh, but first we're going to have to go over Spalding Mountain and Crocker Mountain, which has two peaks. Um, it was terrific getting trail magic today. Um, it was terrific meeting uh, Mountain Lifer and uh, learning about his story and his journey on the uh, AT and uh, had some magnificent views on the horn. So it was a terrific day. 
Thank you, everybody. Uh, I appreciate all of your ongoing support. I look forward to sharing tomorrow's journey with you all. And Bricks.